easier way to do this, you know? You think so? I use the door. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Damn it! Well, once again, from a secret, kind of undisclosed location deep in the heart of downtown historic St. John's, Newfoundland, comes the 150th episode of In the Library of Graphic Literature with your host, Wallace Ryan, and my good pal, Dennis Osborne, as our special guest. Yay! So, uh, geez, 150 episodes. Where right. the, how the heck did I do those, right? I was looking back through the older ones, and I was in the first couple. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Know that the first time I was ever over here was in the first handful of episodes. Yeah. So, when you break <laughs> that down, and in the meantime, all the episodes, all the new books, we started a podcast. Yeah, yeah. There's even one uh, with, with old Sophia, Sophia which, I watched. <laughs> which is a couple of years old now, right? And she was great in it, I yeah. thought, right? It was just but like, wait, there's more. There's more? <laughs> yeah, I uh, oh, She had a great, uh, she was a natural, right? She was actually the one who inspired me because she, she kept talking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, subscribers and stuff like that. Yeah. Cause she'd, do, she'd do her own little videos at home, which were loaded up. Right. But she'd be pretending, and then she'd always say that at the end, and... You should do a podcast yourself. What are you doing a podcast about? Uh, well, uh, nothing really. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, what can you do? Well, for this week, uh, still, we're waiting waiting on some new books, which, of course, uh, hopefully tomorrow, although God only knows. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, we figured we'd have, a uh, once again, another tour of the, uh, of the library. The updated library. Yes, yes. Now, I have uh, taken some stuff out as I've tuned it up over the past uh, year or so, so th there has been some stuff that's changed slightly and all that, and because uh, I figure I'm going to end up moving into the bedroom slightly. <laughs> 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 and we had time to kill with the pandemic. And yeah, and all, all that, that stuff, stuff, right? So, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, so this episode, it's just going to be us uh, having a tour of the old library. So what do you think? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll go and fetch the camera here from its p post here. Come loose. Turn you. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. No, okay. So, Dennis, uh, which side? Let's start at the other Let's side. Start on this side. So, now over here we have all kinds of uh, stuff behind you there, too, like the computer and some banks. And. Oh, oh yeah, and the, the podcast, uh, the lovely podcast mug, it is on beautiful. sale now. <laughs> it is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so what do we have here now? This is, I guess, this is mainly the, uh, uh, well, this is independent stuff and stuff like that. So I got a, uh, well, up on top, Puma Blues, and then there's that one there, the. Uh, uh, what is it, the star one there? Wandering Star. Wandering Star, which is actually really good. I've, I've actually read that. The Strangers in Paradise Omnibus set, that is relatively new. Yeah. Oh, and my autographed uh, copy of King from uh, Ho Chi Anderson, my good buddy. And yeah, and then the uh, Omnibus, and check out that, uh, that Kirby tin up there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we, we have a bunch of... Uh, Different things here, like the well, of course, the uh, of interest to you, the Howard Chaikin, the uh, American flag. He never made a second one, which was kind of upsetting. Yeah. So uh, the Brad Pack, very underrated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the one, also another great yeah. one. Uh, and then there's the, all those uh, Jacques Tardy books right there. It's funny. When I was younger, I wasn't a big fan of Tardy, but as I got older, I got to love him more and more. Oh, and the Mutant World there, from There's Corbin. Yeah, kick, uh, Kickstarter exclusive. Yeah. And then some of these uh, PS Art books, which are kind of cool. And then... Save Saber by McGregor Valesi. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a classic, right? So. I love that one, right? I, I got that originally when it came out, too, right? I ordered away from it. And here, of course, there are the creepy archives. No, I love those. Once again, why couldn't they keep the dress the same all yeah. the way around, right? And then into the Erie archives. But they, at least they finished them off, you know? They did. <laughs> then down here we have the Vampirella and the last of the Erie archives. Oh, and Blazing Combat. 
the uh, the classic uh, war comic that they ended up having to cancel because the U.S. military didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here we have Rachel Rising, uh, Strangers in Paradise, the latest one. Uh, and then of course a little mini Valiant section here. A lot of the newer Valiants I've actually packed away and just kept the older the older stuff there. There's some stacks of whatever. Now here is of course the uh, uh, what I like to call the graphic novel section right here. So you have uh, like up on top those classics illustrated. Those were pretty cool. And uh, Parker series, the Parker series, you gotta love that. Hey, okay. <laughs> I mean, you can get the martini edition, which you have over in the other section, yeah. But the smaller formats makes work really well, yeah. And then, of course, we got some good, uh, some Joe Matt, Chester Brown, and Jerusalem Guy Delisle, who I actually met him down in uh, New York one time. Nice stuff, guy, too, actually. Uh, and oh, I have the Clyde fans down here below here. The the big addition, big nice addition, along with some of, uh, and up there is some more of Seth's stuff. I actually even have uh, Seth's Dominion, the uh, the uh, documentary about him, which is kind of cool. Then up there, Ed the Happy Clown, and then of course my Rick Geary section there. I love Rick Geary yeah. stuff. He 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 has such a cool cool style, all right. And then over there is the oh Mouse Guard. Gotta love Mouse Guard. Then some things by Mimi Pond there. Uh, let's see, Clementi, some Matt Kint stuff there. There's and a some large Matt Kint se section over here. Over so. there too, yeah. <laughs> oh, and here we got Sculptor Nimona, which is actually a great book. Uh, Doom Boy. Doom Boy, one of my favorites. Oh, Blankets there. Love one of the, the classics. And Habibi, which the year it came out, it won just about every... Every best, award. best cover. Well, no, it was every best cover award because oh, okay. the cover in it was uh, was absolutely cool. El Defo, which is actually a really cool book, and then of course Tintin. Got to have your Tintins, oh, God, yes. and they're they're that's the format I first read them in. I, I my friend Jerry, who I did comics with when I was younger, we'd uh, he had the albums when I was a kid, right? Oh. And uh, it's all good. Small it's all good. It's all good. good. And, uh, but I never read them, and it was only when I was on a train trip around the, the States that I actually got it and went for it, right? And uh, took them with me. Then Scott Pilgrim, which I'm still reading. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see what down here, Fire Story, Marvel Comics, the, uh, the Untold Story, uh, Tencent Plague. These are a few co books on comics. Mastering Comics, actually in drawing words and writing pictures, which are two great for people wanting to learn how to to uh, do comics, oh, and fun home, gotta have that of course. Cerebus. And then here, of course, gotta have the the Cerebus. Just even though I've only read the first four, maybe five. Oh, and here's a oh, oh, more more than human. This is a uh, was a uh, Byron Priest uh, comic. It was uh, it's done with a. Uh, Alex Nino, absolutely fabulous. Love that there. Let's jam, jam back in there now. Okay, and over here we got look, we got a uh, Joe Sacco section. I don't have his latest in there, but I've read all those. Zenith from Grant Moore's in one of his early ones, and then the First Kingdom, Jack Katz. That was always in every st comic book store in the '70s and '80s that I went into. Right? In that everyone. series, yeah, <laughs> everyone had it. Right. Uh, Stereo's Polymer. It was actually one of the really early independents. Okay. And he's still alive, too. Yeah. Actually, he's in his 80s or 90s, I think. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and here's a pile of DVDs that I got here in the way. <laughs> and oh, Graveyard Book here. Oh, and my friend Dahmer, of course. Have to have that, right? Then there's Nelvana, uh, Stumptown. Stumptown, which you gotta have. Uh, some Kate Beaton over here, Stray Bullets. Little Will Eisner section. Yeah, including a couple of uh, PS uh, magazines, yeah. along with the PS book. A lot, and some books there from Vanguard, from our, from our good buddy. And down there is more like, uh, there is like uh, the, the uh, 
Crumb uh, sketchbook, and then the DC, you know, Silver Age, Golden Age, Modern Age stuff. Then there's just a pile of various <laughs> things here. Various things. <laughs> Cordo Maltese down at the bottom. USS Stevens, actually a good one. Uh, let's see, going up through here, Johnny Canuck. Oh, look, the Moto Girl on the bus. That has to go back onto the shelf there. <laughs> and yeah, so, you know, not, not a bad one. So, okay, so well, I'll let you uh, <coughs> narrate this one. Now, of course, that velvet is in front of the other, uh, you can move that if you want. Yep. In front of the other Brew Baker. <laughs> which he has a new book coming out, <coughs> hopefully this week, which will be the Pulp. Yeah. Uh, which was the same style as Bad Weekend. Okay. And My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies. Okay, Same yeah. format as that. And Thanks. they did just announce they're doing a criminal oversized hardcover volume three uh, to collect all the <coughs> newer material excellent i like that so and then obviously the walking dead gotta have saga, walking dead yeah uh when you work your way down life and legend of wally wood mad man uh minimum wage love minimum by wage. Bob Fingerman, which that's, I also own. that's one of the great 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 independent comics from the 90s you know you work your way down so you have obviously black kiss oh yeah which we both love <laughs> yeah uh the michael moorcock library yeah Department H, a bunch of Matt Kit work, um, my management, yeah, a bunch of Kickstarter exclusives. The vinyl is in there as yeah. well. Yeah, I like so, that one there. Then when you work your way down, obviously the Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. Yeah, and the Disney Masters the Disney there. Disney Masters, all there. Got them. And then the Mobius section on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and obviously more humanoids like Barbarella. But inside Mobius, uh, World of Adina, Art of Adina... Uh, the humanoid, the Inkle, yeah. uh, uh, the Garage Hermatique, the Inkle slipcase there that we picked up recently, which would have been a new one, yeah. Angel Claws. Then over there, too, I got some Philip Jurier stuff, uh, one of the other greats from uh, from Heavy Metal. Yeah. But and you should collect more. Yeah, I Love think so. More, I, so. I would. Then over here, we of course, we have the... Uh, uh, we have the... Uh, oh, look, the Conan from, from France... But yep. down below the turtles, the of Ninja course. Turtles, the classic series. Yeah. Uh, Black Sad. Black Sad. Oh yeah. One of my favorites. That's down there too. Yeah. Uh, Kaiju Max. Oh yeah. And then the deluxe slipcase version of a contract with God. Yeah. So when we work our way up here. Okay. Now we got. Well, oh, we got the. Uh, what's his name? The. Uh, uh, Carl Barks Carl. Library and the. Uh, the Don Rosa, right there. Hola, and Johnny Dynamite. Johnny from Dynamite. A, from Yo Books. Then so, Dreadstar. Dreadstar Which there. would have been new compared uh, to the last video. Yeah. From Hell, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So then when you work your way up, your Young Romance, your Pogo. And then that's all Hermes Press stuff behind yeah. that. All your Mandrake the Magician, the Phantom. Yeah. But then when you work your way up, well, we'll do the section together. You have all the like, Planet of the Apes. Um, yeah. Joe Hill, Nosferatu. So Ditko works, uh, Terminal City by Michael Lark, the Dark Horse yeah. collection. Yeah, oh, and the, the boys, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Sin City. Sin City, the slipcases. <laughs> yeah, um, gotcha. Michael Kluda, Starstruck. Oh, yeah, I love that art, the so. art in that one. And the Parker one, there is the Parker one, too, that yep. we were talking the, the about Martini. earlier. And so then over here. Right now, the slipcase, well, the complete zap. Yeah. Uh, neat stuff. Uh, the complete comics there. Yeah, the creep hacks, the, the filthy comics, and yeah. then the, the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes, which is Ooh. very hard to get now. And Star Slammers. Star Slammers. One of my favorites, Paul actually. Simonson. So and then here? Yeah, here we DC go. DC Archives. Loving all of them, man. So that is Haunt of Fear, Shock Suspense, Tales from the Crypt, Crime Suspense, which was my favorite. Yeah. Twisted Tales, Vault of Horror. <laughs> then, obviously, when you're going to get the other versions, That'll... when... Uh, the Comic Code Authority came into play. Yeah. So then you're going to get stuff like Aces High and yeah. Piracy. Yeah. Which were a little bit toned down, but still fun. Yeah. Still part of the complete collection. Yeah, trying to yeah, trying to be they're trying to be polite about the whole thing, right? Oh, and over here is sort of like a mini Kirby section here. The uh the uh the Titan books, the Simon and Kirby books, which were really cool. And then the Simon and Kirby Fighting American, American and Boys, Boys Ranch. Ranch, which we both bought from the Sun. Yeah, from from Jim. Thanks, yeah. Jim. Oh, and there we have uh, Dingbat Love, which I love actually, 
and uh, the Your Dreams, the Strange World of Your Dreams from Yo Books. That's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, Kirby collections. All right, so we'll work our way down. Okay, a let's... lot of Dark Horse work. Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah, of course. Uh, Hardcover have that. collection, American Gods, uh, Frank Miller's Three Hundred, Ring of the Nibelung by P. Craig Russell, and then a bunch of all small uh, gaming books there. Right. Which of course now are collected in the the bigger ones. The bigger ones, right? So obviously we'll we'll come down here. You have your Usagi Yojimbo slipcase, the Alien Terminator Predator books, which yep. will get hard to get now because Marvel end up getting the rights to Aliens. Yes. Uh, to publish them, so they'll end up going out of print really quick. Yeah. So other Dark Horse books, uh, Grip. When you work your way down, obviously the Goon Library, Gotta love the them. very rare Colossal Conan. Uh, and then the the King Conan and the uh, Conan the Sumerian, yeah. Black Hammer, Harrow County, and then that's the Neil Gaiman, the first Neil volume. Neil anyway. And we tip this back down below here. This is basically the, uh, the Magnolia verse, almost Magnolia verse hiding down there. So <laughs> the the big, the huge, um, uh, the library editions, library editions. And then we have Ape Sapien BPRD, which continues over here. Yeah. And just because we're over here, the giant size Fantastic Four and Marvels by Alex Ross. Yeah, I do. Now here, of course, this is just a huge pile of them here. These are a bunch of different uh, omnibuses. I've I, I been I be rearranging right here recently. Oh, I like the Eternals over there and the Frank Miller omnibus. Uh, here, too, we also got uh, the Marvel Zombies. Uh, and then all the, that, the Realm of Kings ones, uh, Annihilation, that whole thing. The Punisher. Punishers. Powers. Also great. New Warriors. Not the New Warriors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Captain Marvel. Oh, oh yeah, and Craven's Last Hunt, of course. Have yeah. to have that. And there in the corner, you can see it's very thin, the Doctor Strange, The Oath. The Oath, which is very underrated. The Brian K. Bond series. Oh, great, great one. Then, of course, up here are the... Masterworks. Now, I'm actually going to pack up the Golden Age ones over there just to make room and move up to it. The, uh, the, 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 uh, because there's a bunch of Masterworks down there, so I'm going to move them all up to make more room for the omnibuses, right? But it's, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, geez, that's one, two, well, geez, six, seven shelves of, uh, which is almost two full bookcases by themselves if they were just masterworks if they were just put into that yeah and you know the masterworks i just continue to collect them and of course i get all the the gray ones except for one look over there <laughs> and that's the first captain marvel i don't know why i got that one in that one because at the time i was collecting them in the silver format right then up there of course we have conan the barbarian and the savage sort of conan now one of them is out somewhere here in my reading stack. We'll see oh, that. Over there in the corner. We'll yeah, I got a huge reading that. stack. Oh, and there's the monsters, the monster buses, and the suspense, the suspense one. The other ones in my reading stack. You have your Golden Age. Yeah, loving those. The Golden Age Silver Surfer, yeah. Surfer, uh, Submariner, sorry, and Human Torch. Yeah. Howard the Duck and Man Thing, Doctor Strange, the Deadly Hands. Yeah, and the then uh, the... the Daredevil Electro sets. Yeah, the Miller stuff. Gotta have that, All right? Yeah. And then over there is sort of some of the more modern ones, the uh, the Burn stuff. And then the Avengers by Hickman. Very nice series. Very nice. Mark Wade's Captain America run. Yeah. Then when you work way up, this is almost like the 60s up front <laughs> yeah. or on the very top. From so you're getting your Amazing Spider-Man, your Avengers 1 to 3, number 4 is on the other side. Captain America by Kirby, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, your set of Fantastic Four. Yeah. Kirby and Burn. Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, uh, the Walt Simons and Thor, your set of Tomb of Draculas. Love those, love those, man. <laughs> uh, and a giant pile of X-Men stuff. Yeah, right to the end there, including the Shield. Shield, Women of Marvel, and Werewolf, Werewolf by, Night. by Night. Love that one, you know, man. And here, of course, oh, here's my my spinner rack. This is left over from my uh, when I had my store. I love my spinner rack. <laughs> I am jealous of the spinner rack. <laughs> yeah, just the sound of it too, right? And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's... Still kicking. Yeah. <laughs> so, now over here, oh, and here's the table that you see me in front of all the time. With the first edition, New Fun, and uh, the uh, Crazy Cat. Oh, and there's One the... Eyes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and there's the uh, Bat Phone. And, okay, so here we got 
Oh well, here. Well, I mean, the will. The speaking of Will Eisner, the Spirit, that, and that's one series of books that I've found is common to a lot of the people in my library of graphic literature group. Then below that, the what I call the black tie editions, the Kirby and Ditko omnibuses. Yeah, the early version of omnibus, the standard size, not yeah. the oversized. Yeah, and they were great little ones. I, I like the fact that they printed them on, on a real uh, uh, sort of rough looking yeah. uh, newsprint, pr right? Then in here we have like all the uh, we have all those tales of Batman and uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, but in among them too we have like uh, the Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an om omnibus or deluxe edition collection. Anyway, and the Dead Man one, which will come out soon. Yeah. And then behind this one here, hang on, it's like oh, I'll move this out of the way. Is Batman and the Outsiders, Mr. Miracle, Night Force, but the Legion stuff there too. And that All Star Comics there, I've been waiting for them to collect that series because I've been a Giffen fan. A lot of lot of stuff there, right? Ooh, now up here for the. The omnibuses, the DC omnibuses. Look at those; they're all beautiful, aren't they? Did Adam the Strange. Spines. Yeah, it's a shame that they got rid of them. So. Yeah, I know. That pisses Just me the, off. The Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Bronze Age. Yeah. And you could separate it alphabetically and then by era if you wanted to. Oh, exactly. Now there's one Legion there. The other two are in my reading stack. And then the uh, same with a lot of the other Bronze Age ones. I do have them all. They're just somewhere in the reading stack there. Swamp Thing. Yeah. Swamp Thing's a fantastic book. Yeah, okay. I had to have it. And now, of course, here is the uh, the near-complete collection of uh, DC Archives. I think I'm 12 short, <laughs> I do believe. And including the Thunder Agents Archives, a classic. Tales from the Batman, Engelhart and Wolfman. Yeah. Then down behind here, that's all. These are, are basically, just pull it out a little bit there. You can see the uh, Jack Kirby omnibuses there. And then there were a bunch of omnibuses for Vertigo. And then the entire, entire Vertigo section right on over to there. And then, yeah. A little bit like there you go. Fables, DMZ, Jack of Fables, 100 Bullets. And then you, when you come down here, we end up having the Absolutes. Yeah. So you have All-Star Batman, the Absolute, uh, Haunted Night, Dark Victory, Crisis, the Green Lantern, Green Arrow, uh, the Preacher, Absolute Planetary, Gotham Central. Mm -hmm. Omnibus. Gotta have that. Right. Um, DeWalt Simonson, Orion, Wonder Woman by George Perez, and there's actually a Wonder Woman Golden Age down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> and then the old Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. Yeah. Editions. Yeah. And, of course, the Absolute Sandman uh, uh, Absolute Sith. Editions there. Yeah. They're, it's one of my favorite sets. Which I own myself. So. It's beautiful, aren't they? They're, they're stunning. They really are. And, of course, Batman Digital Justice, the very first <laughs> digitally created comic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that, a prized possession. <laughs> that really didn't carry on too, too much. And then here we just have a bunch of junk. A lot of those are... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Then below that is just a bunch of big, oversized Sunday Press books. A TV that doesn't really work that well anymore. <laughs> and here, speaking of reading stacks, stacks, here's my current reading stack. So, I mean... There's a lot of, a lot of different ones there, as you can see. So, New House of Secrets, we will hopefully be getting soon. The Jonah Hex, The Weird Western Tales. Yeah. Which is a, a great volume. Obviously, Your Legion. Uh, She-Hulk. Yeah. Which is relatively new. Avengers Volume 4. Uh, Runaways. If we ever do with the Thursday Comics uh, modern list, Runaways should definitely be in oh, Okay. <laughs> well, for me, anyways. Uh, Savage Sword. And there's another one down below there. With Another the Marvel sword. Marvel horror, uh, horror one, which looking forward to. Silver Surfer by Dan Slott, uh, Backroll Bronze Age. Okay, and we'll there. we can end off here now with the Library of American Comics. Uh, isn't that beautiful, hey? And of course, over here we have uh, basically Fantagraphics stuff. This basically is like my comic strip corner. So you got uh, we got Peanuts there and Mickey Mouse, Pogo, and down in the corner there we have Prince Valiant, and then uh, oh Calvin and Hobbes and Fireside. There you go. So that, that's not too bad. And here is actually where where all the magic happens. This is where I do my drawing. There's my drawing equipment. Tucked away on the bottom is the Akira the face set. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Set. There it is. Okay. Well. Uh, 
we're getting down here in terms of our minutes so let's uh, return this to its rightful place here and uh, well hoo 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 there we go okay well that was a good little uh, sweet little tour you know is uh, it was meant to be <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's uh, that's uh, episode 150 Another one down and on to number 200. There you go. Hopefully. And then we'll do another tour, hopefully around 200. And, and there'll, be, there'll be blocks of them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'm going to take the boom tube out and uh, I'll see you in New Genesis. In New Genesis. And don't forget, of course, Thursday Comics. This week's episode is out on Thursday and next week's Giant Size number two. And it's I keep making a mistake. It's, <laughs> it's going to be the Marvel Marvel Bronze Best Age. of the Bronze Age. Yeah. One after that will be the DC Best of the Silver Age. Be there. Okay. Or be square. Okay. Oh my god, it's taking me away. Ah!